Hide and go seek in three, two, one, go! One, two. On Monday and Wednesday nights, members of the Hide and Go Seek Club frolic around the halls of Northwestern's Elder Dormitory for friendly competition. I started it with some buddies in the winter. Uh, it was freezing. It was like probably negative 10 for just weeks on end, and uh, we had nothing to do. Uh, so I decided to start the Hide and Go Seek Club. And it started getting a little bit more intense than I had thought, and uh, a lot more people were interested in it in Elder. And so I started opening it up. Uh, we formalized the list of rules. The club has grown into a bi-weekly social event where participants pay $5 to play, and the night's winner receives a handsome reward. Usually uh, we'll have probably three games per night starting after about 10 p.m. I'm a CA in the building, so you know when you see kids kind of scrambling around, you know, being really curious and hiding in places, you, know, you, you kind of get worried. Uh, so that was, a, that was a little funny in the beginning for me. But, you know, once, once they started taking off and I started joining them in games, uh, it's, it really promotes community, and, and I love that. Members have made sure to get as creative as possible with the hiding spots that they choose. Early on, some of the better hiding spots were in the larger recycling bins. It's under beds. That one always meets a lot of success. One of my personal favorites was when someone was hiding behind one of the vending machines on the first floor. Um, it was really hard to find him, but at the time, the, the guy who was playing was wearing this white polo shirt, and he just got covered in dust. You'd be surprised how many good places there are. The Seeker is rotated every time. Uh, it's definitely the most coveted role, so the most fair way to do it is for it to be rotated based off of a uh, lottery system. So everyone's names are put into a hat, and then at the beginning of each game we play, names chosen, and that person's a seeker for that game. In addition to the community it builds, the club allows students to have fun without having to drink. College it will be college, and people will drink most nights a week, no matter what you tell them. But this is the one outlet other than that, uh, which is nice. Uh, it just reminds people that there's more ways to have fun, uh, which, is, which is really great, I think. Reporting from Medill, I'm Jacob Fraser.